Good morning, fam. I'm on my way to work. Just dropped off to Raya at school. And yes, I'm driving, so let's ride and talk. Well, what's been on my mind is I really want to get into this YouTube game. So I really want to be a serious YouTuber. I really like watching vlogs and I really like vlogging. But my problem is I need to be in front of the camera and not always behind the camera. <laughs> so I just really need to break out of my little shell. I really need to, I really need to get more comfortable with being in front of the camera. And you know, vlogging more. I just really need to do it more. So I can get comfortable at doing it. So that's the first thing. Um, the second thing is let's talk about relocating and why we want to relocate. And are we even going to relocate? That's the question. Are we even going to relocate? I don't know. It's really up in the air at this point. It's like, it's not a no, but it's not a right now. I really wanted to do it sooner than later, but you know, it'll happen when the time is right. When you are trying to make a big move like that, it's just a lot of pieces that needs to come together in order for that move to really happen. So, on the relocating, I don't know. I mean, I, I really want to go because, for one, it's weather. It's doggone winter. So, even if we do move to Florida, where we want to move to, I know it get a little bit chilly down there, but it ain't as chilly as it get here. I ain't dealing with no snow and no ice. So, you know, I want to move to Florida bad. I just, I can't wait until we can make it happen. I can't wait. I love Florida. Yeah, dealing with the winters here, I'm kind of over it. I'm freaking over it. I'm over it. I'm over it. The season shine. I love every season, though. I love summer. I love spring. I love fall. I love winter. But to a certain extent, you know, I don't want to be out in it unless I want to be out in it. <laughs> I don't want to be in the snow unless I... I don't want to be in the snow unless I want to be in the snow. Therefore, moving to Florida and dealing with not really having too many seasons, but they have two seasons, really. I think that'd be nice. And then plus, it'd be nice on my baby's allergies. Because every time the season change, she freaking gets sick. And I'm tired of that. But, I don't know. I just think Florida would be a great move for us. And, like I said, I can't wait till we make it happen one day. We can make it happen. I don't know when that one day will be. But hopefully, you know, it happen. So, anyway, with that being said, now I'm going to have to do another welcome to my channel video, I guess, because that video was basically saying this channel was going to be about our last year in Cincinnati before we relocated. And we might be in Cincinnati for longer than a year. Who knows? I don't know. But I want to I wanna take that video down anyway. Because I really don't even care for it. For real. I look awkward. Well, I don't really look awkward. But you can tell that I'm not used to being in front of the camera. So, it's just like... No. <laughs> no, start over. But it's crazy because 
that welcome to my channel video has the most views that I have on any video right now so it's like I don't want to delete it because I want to keep my views but at the same time I don't like that video and the whole idea of my channel has changed I mean yes I still want to document my life and yes I still want to um you know show you guys my life but it's just it was basically more so I want to document so I can show y'all my life before we make this big move and you know I still want to document my life but I don't know if we're going to be relocating in the time frame that I thought I was so yes I want to take this YouTube this YouTube thing serious because I really like it I really like watching other YouTubers and watching other YouTube videos. Be serious about it. Take it serious. I'm going to get me a camera and I do need to get a new laptop. So I really want to do it on a serious level and not just keep recording off my phone. But I will be recording off my phone until I can get a camera. So that's what it's gonna be but you know me and my family we have a lot of fun things coming up so i can't wait to share that with you guys and one thing that i know i'm gonna do for sure is be in the camera be in front of the camera more than behind the camera so that's what i'm gonna do uh, so much traffic so much traffic on my way to work and I'm running 10 minutes behind because I woke up 10 minutes later than when I will. I didn't wake up 10 minutes later. I stayed in the bed 10 minutes later than I should have because I just did not feel like getting up today. I really didn't. I really didn't. And I swear, oh, I wanted to call off. But, you know, right before the holiday, so... Get my butt up and go to work. I think I'm going to go ahead and stop at Chick-fil-A and get me a breakfast sandwich. Because I like to eat Chick-fil-A breakfast. Let my husband tell it I go to Chick-fil-A every morning, but I really don't. <laughs> I really don't. But I do go often. I like breakfast sandwiches and I just don't give myself enough time to eat breakfast at home which I should I really should to save money but I don't so it is what it is it is what it is um, back to the relocate thing I guess we're going to be staying in Cincinnati until we can figure out a plan to go to Florida beautiful sunny let me know if you guys like these little ride with me videos and I'll probably do them every morning since I'm always stuck in traffic going to work. The traffic ain't too bad. I mean it's moving but it's just you know. You know how traffic is. Traffic is traffic. So this weekend's coming up. We got a Christmas party to go to. My husband's job is having a Christmas party. It should be fun. And I really want to take Pariah ice skating this weekend. But the only thing with that is it might rain Saturday. And if it rains Saturday, then I probably won't take her Saturday. I'm going to have to look at Sunday. So we shall see what we're going to do as far as ice skating this weekend. Christmas is my favorite holiday. I love Christmas. And then another thing I want to talk about is all these bullying in these elementary schools and these kids are bullying other kids and kids are killing themselves because they're being bullied. I Understand them. I don't get it. I really don't get it. I just had to talk to my daughter. I talked to 
to my daughter about everything as far as like bullying, if, if somebody's treating her bad, if somebody makes her sad, if somebody, you know, let me know, let your teacher know, you know, so before I dropped her off this morning, you know, we had a talk and I was just like, you know, if anybody ever bully you, you know, what, what, what are you going to do? And she's only seven, but, you know, I just read that, um, I just seen on the news last night that a little girl that was nine years old just killed herself, you know, from being bullied. Nine. And my, my baby is seven. That's not too far apart. And I'm like, first of all, how do a nine-year-old know how to kill herself? I don't, I don't understand. I know with the internet and with kids having access to the internet and watching whatever they want to watch, I don't know, but I'm really strict on my daughter when it comes to the internet, when it comes to Netflix, YouTube, I really don't even let her watch a lot on YouTube because I, I just don't, I just, I just try to keep her in the child's place as much as possible, you know, it's a lot of key things on YouTube, but then she is easily, she can access things that's not for kids, so you know, and then especially with um, Netflix, you know, I monitor, I monitor her a lot. You know, on Netflix, YouTube, I monitor her a lot. And even at home, like, you know, me and my husband, we don't watch certain things in front of her. We don't even listen to certain music in front of her because of what is being said or what is what they're doing on TV or whatever. So with that being said, I know kids, other kids, you know, have access to a lot. I know other parents may not be as strict as what their kids watch or what their kids listen to or whatever. But I just don't get how a child at nine want to kill themselves. It's like, wow, at nine years old, I was, I didn't even know, I didn't even, couldn't even think of anything like that. You know, I just, I don't even know. I just think that's it's just sad. It's just a sad situation. So I just talk to my child all the time, you know, and I let her know, you know, what like I asked her, what happened? What would you do if somebody was to bully you, or if somebody was being mean to you at school, if somebody hit you at school? What do you do? You know, her first response is tell the teacher. But I do tell my daughter to defend herself. If somebody hit her, you hit them back. Period. Point blank. I don't care who they are, you hit them back, you know, and if it's somebody, you know, that you can't defend yourself against, of course, you go tell your teacher, and you always tell mommy and daddy, because we're going to handle it, flat out, you know what I'm saying, because I can't, I just can't, you know, I, I wish I could homeschool her, but at the same time, I don't want to, she's already the only, ch- the, she's already an only child. So, it's like if I homeschool her, then she really wouldn't be around nobody. (laughs) And I know she needs to have that social life. She needs to know how to be around other people and be social. Because, you know, we really are in our little bubble anyway. She's not really around a lot of family. She really don't have a lot of cousins around her. Like, I have a huge family, but we're not around them we don't live by them so she's really not around a lot of people a lot of cousins or whatever unless we basically go out of town or something go visit back home and then she'll see all her thousands of cousins but other than that while we're at home on our everyday life she's not around a lot of family at all it's just me her dad and and her so you know if I was to homeschool her and take her out of that school environment, she wouldn't be around nobody. And, you know, I just can't do that to her. But with all this, with all this, like, stuff going on in the world, it's just like, I don't even want my child around it. I don't want her around the craziness, you know, school shootings and everything. And her school just had a threat for that. Well, not her school, but the high school in her school district had a threat for a school shooting 
And I'm just like, you know, we getting phone calls like, oh, there was a video out about someone wanting to shoot at the local high school and I guess kids fighting each other or whatever. And I'm just like, come on. That is just so stupid. I'm so tired of it. I'm tired of it. I'm tired of hearing it. I'm tired of my first grader having to deal with active shooting drills and all that mess. Like, that's, it's just ridiculous. It's, it's really ridiculous at this point. Like, the only drill we had to do was a fire drill and a tornado drill, which they don't even do tornado drills anymore. But it is ridiculous. It's a sad world we're living in right now. It really is. So, with that being said, I talk to my child and I let her know what it is. If anybody is doing anything to her, she is to tell her mom and dad. And I just, you know, I hope that she's not, she won't ever be in that position where she's bullied and won't say anything and won't speak up and won't let us know what's going on. Because that would really hurt me. Here we are at Chick-fil-A. Risk being late for work to get some Chick-fil-A. <laughs> so it's 8.20. I have to be at work at 8.30. And my job is literally right down the street from Chick-fil-A. Let's see if I can make it. I usually like to go into my job at 8.20. But... I'll be alright. Well, it's Thursday today. One more work day. Well, no. No, 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 no. They making us work Saturday mandatory. <sighs> We're really bribing us to work for real because oh, if y'all work Saturday, we'll give y'all a bonus, which is cool, which is cool. But that's cutting into my Saturday my time with my family if this wasn't a mandatory work week I would literally have called off just because I don't feel like I got enough sleep last night I'm literally tired tired okay so it is 823 let's see if I can get my favorite made it to work 825 five minutes to spare i'm gonna go ahead and get in here but i did want to add in this video a clip of um Christ christmas presents that i had wrapped the other night i only wrapped a few of our presents we're gonna go to build a bear that's gonna be one of her christmas presents i'm gonna take her to build a bear and it's just a couple little few little things that i want to get her but as far as the little bit of presents that I had at home. I went ahead and wrapped those and put them under the tree. So I'm going to show you guys a clip of that in this video. So go ahead and take a look at that clip now. Welcome back to another video. In this video, I will be wrapping some of Karaya's Christmas presents so I can get them put under the tree. And I'm going to also show you what I got her. This is not all of her presents. This is just some of them that I have in the house. little ramble I did on my way to work I probably start doing this every I don't 
don't know I could do it every day let's see how you guys like it I don't know but I guess it, it'll get me more well I guess it will help me to get more used to the camera to be on the camera and open up a little bit more so I guess I can start doing it so I can get me some videos on my channel because Lord knows I need them <laughs> all right make sure you like this video give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed already and stay tuned for the next video